Introduction Large amount of wastewater are produced by human activities such as agriculture, including livestock, as well as urban and industrial development must be treated before being discharged into water bodies or on land. The pollution burden, if not properly treated, can cause substantial environmental degradation with a direct impact on human health. A wastewater treatment plant, also known as WWTP, is a facility that is an essential part of modern city life. It includes a variety of processes that convert contaminated water into a sufficiently clean state that can be discharged to surface water with minimum negative impact on the environment. The goal of this research is to better comprehend the function of environmental engineers by performing a virtual site visit to analyze the variety of an, the reality of an actual wastewater treatment facility. My name is Mo Asi Bin Mat Anes, AF190033. I will present about literature review. First, a green building is a building that is more energy efficient, healthier, and more resilient in terms of design, construction, operations, maintenance, and removal. Next is the ratio of electricity generated to the electricity required to operate the wastewater treatment facility is known as energy efficiency, said she at year 2011. Next is poor wastewater treatment facilities in de developing nations are not successful and thus unsustainable because they are simply copied from western treatment systems because they were built without evaluating the appropriateness of the technology of the culture terrain and climate they are often ill equipped to deal with emerging environmental challenge and last, the aim is to achieve high environmental quality, high food and fiber yields, low, low consumption, good quality and high efficiency manufacturing, and full waste utilization. <coughs> My name is Aminu Hakim Abinti Abdalim with metric number AF190272 and I'm going to represent about methodology. Okay, so I'm going to present about mechanism of MSL system for water treatment under green technology. Okay, so this is the mechanism. Okay, so uh, the methodology is first when wastewater is released into MSL system, uh, organic <coughs> organic matter is physical chemical absorbed on the zone and a uh, specific surface area before being degraded by microorganism. So the most critical element influencing the infection of MSL system in the removing end via the nitrification and detrinification process are the aerobic and anaerobic condition in the system. <coughs> Phosphorus can be absorbed on the aluminium and ferrous uh, hydroxide in the soil. The iron at in the SMB is transferred into the uh, ferrin, uh, ferrous iron, which is subsequently translocated to the zoolite interlayer and it oxidized and is oxidized to ferric ions which acts in the associated cooperation from the pusillating wastewater by supplying by supplying air from the outside the system using an on off switch on the pump system aeration pipe installed inside the system may manage the aerobic and aerobic condition of the system so aeration at the right rate and for the right amount of time improve BOD, COD, total nitrogen and total phosphorus removal substantially. Excessive aeration on the other hand has a negative effect on the air removal by impeding the denitrification process. So when denitrification occurs, hydrogen ions are released. Thus uh, reducing the pH of the treat water. Uh, whereas the denitrification produces hydroxyl ions and subsequently a higher pH is induced. Therefore, the change in the pH of the treated water can be used to control aeration of the MS system at an appreciated rate and duration. A graduation conducted in Thailand, a pH of 6.5 to 7 is the ideal maintaining of MSLS system. That's all, thank you. Mm. Uh, 
Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera uh, My name is Muhammad Azim Mahimi Bayang Zainuddin And today I will present about uh, analysis for MSL system uh, Which is advantage and disadvantage for this system uh, Okay, this, next There is three main advantage for this system That is suspend solid removal efficiency uh, Chemical oxygen demand removal efficiency And total phosphorus removal efficiency Okay, first we have S suspend solid SS uh, SS are more effectively, effectively blocked by the MSL system when wastewater flow slowly through it. Uh, the reason for the superior performance of system SLS is uh, the small size granular activate carbon stock in the system. Okay, next is chemical oxygen demand removal. Uh, the radiation time of the wastewater within the system increases as the hydraulic loading rate HLR uh, decreases, uh, thus providing the system with sufficient time to absorb, react, and remove the organic pollutant from the wastewater, and consequently enhancing the removal efficiency. Okay, the third is total phosphorus uh, removal of total phosphorus TP efficiency. Uh, primarily relies on the iron scrap and, and soil within the soil mixture layer SML, SML block uh, for, for iron combined with the iron, iron ions in the SML block causing the sedimentation of the phosphate iron uh, phosphate iron uh, cause the sedimentation of the phosphate iron uh, this removal mechanism demonstrate no correction with the select filter material for the MSL system so we can use uh, any kind of filter material for this system ok next we have a uh, disadvantage for these three uh, advantage that is for suspend solid removal clogging is likely to occur in this system when using the granular activate carbon to increase efficiency of uh, SS removal clogging is often encountered in wastewater treatment system. Uh, significant drawback to the application of the zoolite additive formation of the bacteria layer on the zoolite surface is a slow process. Uh, and this is for chemical oxygen demand and become effective only after approximately a week. Uh, that is why new zoolite modification method the interaction between zoolite and Activate sludge which further increase the sludge activity. Okay, the third is for disadvantage for total phosphorus. Uh, the biolo biological treatment of industrial waste water often require the addition of phosphorus as bacteria able to store phosphorus. Mm, the control of phosphorus dosing is not easy. So low phosphorus availability favor the growth of filamentous bacteria at activate sludge treatment plants which result in bad settling and thickening of property of the sludge. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Islam Hakim and I will talk about discussion of this project. As we can see, there are three types of efficiency that the system can obtain, which is suspended solid efficiency, chemical oxygen efficiency, and total phosphorus removal efficiency. Suspended solid. One method of determining water quality is to measure suspended solid. Suspended solid are particles that remain suspended in water and behave as a colloid. Water quality is considered consider as enhanced and the possibilities of corrosion in industrial operating system are greatly decreased when they are removed. Increased water temperature and reduced DO can be caused by high turbidity. The rate of chemical and microbiological reaction is affected by temperature. The best drinking waters are constantly chilly and don't fl fluctuate more than a few degrees in temperature. Chemical oxygen demand or COD. It is an essential water quality parameter. Higher COD value indicate that the sample contain more oxidizable organic material, lowering this of oxygen level. An aerobic condition can result from a decrease in DO, which is harmful to higher aquatic life form. The quantity of oxygen required to chemically break down contaminant is referred to as COD. Oxygen demand is important for determining waste already, assessing the treatment process effectiveness and ensuring compliance with uh, effluent oxygen demand requirement. Total phosphorus. Phosphorus is a component human wastewater. Organically, bond phosphorus uh, come from human and animal waste, which is transformed to orthophosphate by biological breakdown. 
Synthetic detergents include polyphosphate, phosphate, which, which can account for up to half of the total phosphate in wastewater. Phosphorus deficit has a significant impact on treatment efficiency. Lastly, recommendation to improve the MSL system in Malaysia. In the future, zeolite could be replaced with materials that are less expensive and more environmentally friendly, such as expanded clay aggregate, oyster shell, and already used granular activated carbon collected from waste purification plants. In an effort to reduce waste, increase the use of renewable material, and lower the cost of setting up an MSL system. The study has been made, and the result of the study quite impressive as the suspended solid removal efficiency of granular activated carbon was found to be between 76.2% and 94.6% in a series of indoor tests. Zolite and expanded clay aggregate had similar efficiencies of between 53.7% and 87.4%, and oyster shell had the lowest efficiency of between 29.8% and 91.8%. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Izzam Yusuf And I will continue with the conclusion of our project Environmental consequences can be minimized by utilizing proper wastewater management technique Okay, as we know that 75% uh, of the earth's surface is covered by water Just 1% of the water is suitable for human use Okay, the risk to all of us is increased if this easily available water is endangered Okay, besides chlorination Municipal water treatment use only one other treatment method here Best ways to deal with waste in many regions is to use anaerobic systems In the future, the MSL system will face more competition from UASP systems Activated sludge plants or trickling filters can be used as post-treatment aerobic system. A larger plant size affects the cost effectiveness of integrating multiple technologies. Anaerobic biological treatment is well known and frequently used to treat complex organic solid waste such primary and secondary wastewater sludge as anaerobic digesters. Okay, this technology has not been widely used to low strength organic wastewater from industry or the home. Developments in technology have sustainably improved the effectiveness of anaerobic therapy. Because of its many advantages over aerobic treatment, a practical and cost effective alternative has emerged in recent years. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.